This tutorial shows how to use the Orchestrator Studio to create a data request with data aggregation. A data request with aggregation enables an orchestration to perform a calculation on data returned from a table or business view in Enterprise One. In this tutorial, we'll show an example of creating a data request to retrieve a total sum of a customer's order amounts in Enterprise One. A data request is a type of service request. So from the Orchestrator Studio homepage, let's access the service request page. From this page, select Create Service Request to create a new data request. To begin, we need to give the data request a name and description and select a product code to associate with it. The order amounts entered in the Sales Order Entry Program in Enterprise One are stored in the Sales Order Table. So we'll enter this table and load the data items from this table into the grid. If you don't know the business view or table associated with the program, you can use the Enterprise One cross-reference program to identify it. To enable the aggregation features, turn on the aggregation toggle. Next, we need to set up filtering criteria for the data request to identify the fields that contain the data we want returned. In the grid, let's locate address number and click the filter icon to add it to the filtering criteria area. The syntax surrounding address number one denotes its use as a variable to identify the customer for whom we want to retrieve order amounts. You can modify the variable name if you choose, so let's change it to customer. We'll also use order date for the filtering criteria, so let's locate it and add it. For order date, to demonstrate how to modify the filtering criteria, we'll configure the data request to retrieve order amounts from January 1, 2016. So we'll select the greater than operand and in the adjacent field, replace the variable with an actual date. After setting up the filtering criteria, we need to specify the data we want this data request to aggregate. We want it to perform a sum of a customer's order amounts. So back in the fields grid, let's locate the order amount field and click the aggregate icon. Here in the pop-up, we'll select sum for the aggregation type. The studio adds this field to the aggregations and variable names area. We can also configure the data request to return a count of the number of amounts totaled. You can associate a variable with the aggregated data returned by the data request. So next to order amount sum, we'll enter total order amount. In this case, the syntax that represents a variable isn't required. When this data request is added to an orchestration, the Orchestrator Studio automatically adds this total order amount variable as another orchestration input. This enables you to map the total amount of orders returned from this data request to another step in the orchestration. We'll save the data request. We've successfully created a data request that when configured with an orchestration, will return a total sum of a customer's order amounts. To learn more about the features shown here and other data request features, see the Orchestrator Guide and visit us online at learnjde.com.